more than a few people have commented that what they'd really like to see on Khan Academy is how to graph a parabola. Um, playing around with the equations is one thing, but in class they may be asked to graph it. Uh, this is a fairly simple parabola, and we'll start with that, and this will make for a, a fairly simple uh, graph. One of the easiest tools to use when doing graphing is a simple table chart where you're going to say x values that you're going to put into the function or um, it may not be a function but what you're going to plug in uh, and then you've got your y equals side. Now <clears throat> one of the things uh, you want to do is you don't want to do too many points and you want to stick to relatively easy points okay so uh, in the, this case because we have a very very simple equation well for one thing uh, obviously we'll start with zero because that's going to give us our uh, y-intercept well, that becomes 3 times 0 squared. Well, anything squared, you know, 0 times anything is 0. So 0 times itself is 0, and 0 times 3 is 0. So this just equals 0. Uh, 1, so we have 3 times 1 squared. Well, 1 squared is just 1, so we've got 3. Um, negative 1, well, negative 1 squared is just 1, so that is again times the 3, so that is again just equal to 3. So you actually have enough points there to do a graph but your teacher or your particular book may say that they want five points. So let's do two, which is uh, because this is a square going to be the same as uh, negative two. Uh, so now you got your three times, you know, your plus or minus two squared which equals, well, you know, uh, 2 times 2 is 4, whether it's plus or minus. 3 times 4 is 12. So in either case, that's going to be 12. So <clears throat> now you want to graph it. One of the things you'll want is, oh boy, that was not good. Yeah, these aren't exactly straight, and this would probably be easier, oh, that helped, uh, to see if they were perfectly straight, but I, I'm going to be happy with this. So on this one, we have the point zero zero and we got one three and because this is twelve and twelve and three uh, I'm gonna go out by threes so I'm gonna say that this is uh, well actually on my x scale I'm gonna go out by ones and on my y scale I'm gonna go up by threes I'm, I'm just doing this by how I label it. Uh, it doesn't make it visually accurate compared to say a graphing calculator, but it makes it easier to write. So if I say that this is three, and that this is six, and that this is nine, then this would be 12. Okay, so my x of one, I and negative 1 and negative 2. So I go over to the x of 1. Let me change up, make this even more colorful. 
and that one and that three. So I've got that one and that three. Okay, we already said that we had the origin. Well, I've got the negative one and the same three. Okay, two and twelve. Negative two and twelve. That's those points. Now, do not, do not do straight lines. A straight line is not a parabola. A parabola is a curve. And you are never, never, I don't care how good an artist you are, you're never going to get an absolutely straight thing. You'll notice you'll get these little dips and, and all this stuff. That's fine. This is an estimation. But do not go straight and straight or, or do something really cheesy like that. Um, if you have a teacher that's particular about trying to get this to look good. Make sure you add some curvature to it and you may even go and just kind of dot your way up and then uh, draw over your dots. You may end up needing to erase uh, other things like that just to make this look good. And I just erased way too many things by accident. Okay, so let me put these points back in here and try drawing this one last time. Okay. So this one is a little bit straight down here so let me try that again okay so this is just a basic general graph of a basic parabola um, <coughs> The table helps you uh, if your teacher wants you to show your work, what you, you know, you can write the table out in a very large, oh geez, format. So you can put in there you know, uh, and you'll notice this is just taking the uh, various steps and writing them out in a longer form and the only reason to do this like I said is if you have a teacher that is saying I want to see all your work uh, I've had a professor say uh, your head will not be turned in therefore anything done in your head is not going to be graded and with some of these teachers they're going to want this written out really long like this so your objective is just to find some of these y equals values so that you can put them on the graph another common thing that's very very common is they may say and I want you to label the points. So this is the other part of doing this that you may be required to do. And 
labeling includes the origin. Do not forget the origin just because it's at zero, zero. Do not forget any intercept just because they're where there's a mark on the line. You have to, uh, when you label points, you have to write all of it in. So that would be a basic graph of a simple parabola. And I'll try and get some more.